Hey, what's poppin' guys? Sizzle here, and this is how to get online uh, in Pokemon with Melon DS. So first, you want to go to the Melon DS website. Uh, this should be linked in the description. Get the most recent download, which probably won't be this by the time you watch this video, but who knows, it might be. You click the Windows install, you hit Save. Alright, and then if I go, you know, drag that file onto my desktop, you can see it right over there. And then from here, you want something like 7-Zip, you want to extract Melon DS, and you'll now have a Melon DS folder, which will have just the Melon DS.exe file uh, in it. Right, and from there, this is all you need. This is like the main file. Uh, normally it's in a folder because that's where it saves the config file and stuff. But yeah, you then can load up Melon uh, DS and change your config a little bit. So for me, uh, obviously you just need some kind of inputs. These are not the inputs I recommend. I don't play uh, on emulator because I actually have a real DS, but I need to do this uh, at some point in order to, uh, what did I put? J and H, I don't know what to do that. Uh, but I, I need to play on Melon DS to use the, uh, the GTS to trade myself something from a, a second version of my game because I was having issues doing that uh, on one system. Uh, so, yeah, there's that. Uh, MU settings. You do need to get yourself the uh, the DS and uh, 3DS BIOS. Uh, you can get them online, although I'm not sure about the legality of all that. Uh, but I got them off of, you know, my own system. Which I guess I'll drag out here. There we go. And if I go use external BIOS, you do need external BIOS for it to work. Alright, so it starts with BIOS 9, it's weird, it's inverted. BIOS 9, then BIOS 7, uh, then firmware. And you don't need a DSi one, uh, even for DSi games, DS BIOS should work fine, because all DSi games work on DS. Uh, I don't change any of the other settings, I'm sure they're useful in some other way, but yeah, that's all you have to do there. Uh, video settings, I don't change any of that, I'm sure you can if it... You know, if you're having issues, maybe start changing stuff there. Camera, just kind of leave it be. Audio settings tend to be fine, but I'm going to turn down the volume a bunch. Uh, and then multiplayer settings. This is for having multiple of the same game open. Uh, the default setting of one audio instance only, meaning the first thing you open will be playing audio and the other ones won't. That's normally fine by me. Uh, let's see, where was I? Wi-Fi settings, just leave it be. I mean, you can do direct mode, uh, but it's not needed anymore, right? The, the indirect mode is actually just m more simple and generally better. Interface settings, I leave them be. Uh, pass settings, I leave them be. And uh, yeah, then I'd set screen size. I normally do 2x, because uh, normally I have this on top of other stuff. But for this, this guide, I'm going to make it actually 3x, make it a bit larger so it's easier to see. Uh, and that is everything I normally change. And then from here, you want to open your ROM. So in my case, let's go grab our Pokemon with to ROM. And then I want to also import my save file, which I also have, as you can see, on the desktop. Or maybe you can't see, it depends on how I censor things. Hopefully I did that correctly. Uh, but there we go. Emulation will be re uh, reset and current file overridden. That's fine by me. And now it'll just boot up the game automatically. Right. And from here, uh, changing the Wi-Fi settings is pretty straightforward. Now, in, in the Pokemon game specifically... Okay, I need to turn down the audio. I can tell it's going to be way too loud. It apparently reset it. I guess I didn't hit OK. Uh, but while I'm here, what I want to do is go to WFC settings, All right? And then from here, uh, you'll already have a connection. So I'll, I'll erase, or not erase the settings. Well, you'll have normally something already saved in connection one, but it's not the right thing. You, what you want to do is either go to connection two and set it up there, uh, or go to erase connection one like I just did, and search for an access point, and it'll always find the same uh, thing of Wi-Fi as long as your you know, PC you're on has, well, has any kind of Wi-Fi. Melon AP will always show up. You click that. Connection save. 
uh, and and it's all good, right? And this is all you need just to have Wi-Fi in general. But because the Nintendo servers are down, we actually have to do one other thing. We have to click connection one, scroll down a bit, uh, change auto obtain DNS to no. And for the Pokemon custom servers and maybe just the general servers, it's one seven eight dot six two dot four three dot two one two and then you hit that hit okay are these things correct yes they are hit save settings and there we go that's all you have to do to set up the wi-fi and now that you've done that you can go back to your game uh, i think for games that don't every game that has wi-fi i think has the ability to get to that from the menu yeah, now that we've done that, I do want to mention that you can also go to firmware settings, hit overwrite settings, and then change the firmware. And this is like the name of your DS and stuff, and the message it will send if it connects in specific type of ways. Uh, like in PictoChat, some, this information is almost never used, but you could just set it to like whatever. And you don't need to change the MAC address anymore. You used to have to do that back in the day. Uh, you don't have to do it anymore, but if you do that, now, like, the console itself will be registered as, you know, Sizzle. Which you can also change if you get a file boot firmware. You can change it in the firmware settings on the, uh, the DS or DSi firmware, whichever one you end up using. Uh, and it'll be different based on what firmware you import, so that's, that's another important reason to maybe get both. Anyway, uh, now that we've set that up, I can boot up the game and head to the GTS which I'm actually very far from. <laughs> so I will quickly make my way over there and I'll get back to you when I get there. All right, now that we're in the Pokemon Center, we can go to the GTS lady over here, which just, you know, that's how you do general trading and whatnot. You just click, you know, GTS, for example, hit trade. And sometimes it'll ask you if you want to overwrite some pre-existing settings. I won't ask them here, when you go load into wherever you load into by the way this is also using an old save file so it's not fully up to date if you watch my my let's play up to this point uh, but that won't come out for like a, an actual year at this point so if you're watching both those side by side i'm really curious as to how that happened but you can see right here this is a common thing you'll get on emulator uh information from the system and game card don't match that's completely fine uh and then hit yes you want to overwrite it now this will get rid of people on your friend list but I mean, most people don't have anyone on their friend list, or if you do, you can know their friend code to re-add them uh, and do any necessary trades this way. Because some people have issues getting the Wi-Fi working on their actual system. And yeah, there we go. Uh, from there, it should just connect. This should work for games that aren't Pokemon too. And there we go. I'm up in the GTS. Uh, I can search for you know anything I might want or like they might want. All right, so you do seek Pokemon. Uh, I don't know. Let's say like a common thing is patch rat. You put a lot of patch rats up here. All right. Search. All right, there we go. All right, so we can see. You know, these are some people that have their stuff up on the custom thing, and they want a Heatran level 100 and a Zekrom, which I have neither of. Uh, so they're not getting that. But yeah, uh, that's that's how you set up the Wi-Fi. That's kind of proof that it's working and it'll let you trade in the GTS and everything just fine. Uh, it is important to recognize that Nintendo DS Wi-Fi is very buggy, even on emulator. And even if you set it up completely perfectly, every like five to 10 times when you go to like start a trade or something, sometimes it'll just crash or like bug out or something and it'll close the trade. Uh, you didn't do anything wrong. That is just what happens. It's just poorly kind of well not poorly done It's just a really old system uh, and it just has those types of issues from time to time But yeah, uh, that's how to get Wi-Fi set up on Melon DS and, and kind of do anything Wi-Fi related and most people use it for you know trading Pokemon or playing like Mario Kart DS online and uh, It'll work for that as well but yeah, hopefully this was useful to you. Uh, I just couldn't find any t great, uh, guides that were too great on it out there and fully up to date and all that. So I figured I'd make my own. Uh, if it helped you, make sure you comment below. If you have any issues, comment below. I'll try to help you with them, but I'm not sure how much of a help I can be because I barely understand this myself. Uh, that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you have a good rest of your day.